Hey guys, welcome back for some more Skyhaven. Unfortunately, my save game corrupted, so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to start again. I'm gonna quickly whiz through the first day because we've already seen that. But I thought you'd be interested in how I'm gonna redesign my uh, my airport because um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you would love to see like how it could work with with two runways. So I'm going to put in a second runway, uh, like when I can afford to. Now the that's the best I can do. So if I run this up here, so I want as much room as we can get. If I put the first runway in there, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a like a, a square with the buildings in the middle, and have the the ramps either side. That's that's the plan. So what I would want. Oh, by the way, several people have been saying, um, well, several people left comments saying. Uh, oh, why don't you connect to the ends? Why are you connected in the middle? That's stupid because the planes land and then they've got to turn around and come back. It's because that's the only point you can connect to. You can't connect to here. Look. You can't connect to that. You can only connect to here. That's the way it works. So, uh, we are going to have... Let's see. Uh, I, want, I want my ramps off to the side, but I want to leave some space in the middle for the buildings. So... What the hell? Ha ha ha! I just found a key accidentally for money cheating. I've just given myself somehow a million dollars. I don't even know what key I pressed. It was like F or G or H or something. Oh, now. <laughs> you, you know what? I'm, oh, am I going to do it? I'm going to do it because we can see so much more of the game. What, what key was it? I think it was like, if we do, uh, no, 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 no. Oh man, was it a key combination? I'm just, I'm just pressing random keys now. Uh, no, I can't even do it again. What the heck? Okay, I'm gonna have to find out offline. That. Okay, I've got a million. Oh, <laughs> we can build a blooming massive airport. Uh, okay, let's let's do this. Okay, that kind of throws a spanner in the woods. So what I was planning... Oh, you know what? Now I can actually plan the darn thing out the way I wanted. Okay, so what I was what I was thinking of was we'd have... Uh, let's see. We'd have, say, fuel there. And we'd also have fuel... Oh, that's Nanny Giggles messaging me. And we'd have fuel there. So we'd have fuel, two fuel depots. And then we'd have two posts, one on each side. Uh, so, so I was gonna, I was gonna have like this, and then kind of build up to it. But now that I've got a million, and I still don't know what key I pressed to get it. Okay, whatever, whatever. Uh, post maintenance, flip you around. Oh, we're going to be able because I can get the research going right from the beginning. That is awesome. Um, okay, so we've got uh, two fuel, two posts. Now, where am I going to put my office? I'm kind of tempted to put my office, like, up here. Somewhere. Maybe, like, there. Uh, yeah, why not? Yeah, throw the office. In. Well, the thing is, I can move stuff around. Oh, my God, this is so awesome. Okay, so we would want a grass road connecting up these buildings like this and across there and down there awesome and then I would want a road coming out uh, well a, a, a taxiway coming out this way you know what let's bring it right out uh, it depends how many ramps I'm gonna want it's a good point um, you know what let's start putting some ramps in so that we can gauge this. Because what I wanted was to have uh, 10 ramps. And what I was planning to do was have, let's see, like uh, one and two and three. Oh, this is going to be, this is going to be epic. 
I've got to find out what that cheek key is. So if we have five on that side and five on this side, so let's say I left uh, two gaps, so you would be there. Oh, this this is sweet. Because there's there's only so far we can go in the, in this in this very very early preview. So being able to get the the research going from like minute one is going to be awesome. So so we've got five ramps on this side, five ramps on that side. Awesome. And then we want not grass strip. I want a grass taxiway. So if we hook the taxiway up like that, and then hook those guys up like that. Oh, I can have my second runway from the start. <laughs> oh, peachy. Boom, boom, boom. And then, so the second runway, I can put my second runway in. Second runway would go flipped around. So it needs, I want it to line up with, oh, how did, okay, I didn't do that. Oh, it's doing it again. Don't do that. Uh, okay, so the furthest thing I can get it is there. You know what, let's, uh, actually, that's fine. Okay, so we put that in there. Now, I'm just wondering if I can get like another set of ramps in. Be kind of cool if I could. Um, so, uh, could I get, is there a way I could get another set of ramps in? I don't think there is really. So maybe, do we have this as takeoff and this as landing? And just live with, with 10 ramps for now? 10 ramps is going to be like a fair amount. I, and I could always extend it and have, you know what, I could always extend it and have extra ramps. Yeah, you know what, that, that's fine. In that case, let's do, let's have a, a taxiway. Uh, let's just run the taxiway out like that. And then if we hook this up to, well, what's the, the thing is I want to leave myself as much room as possible for buildings and stuff. But I suppose what we could do is have, is connect the taxiway side there and then just hook these up like this. So they, they land on this runway, come into the, the ramps, come out this way. Okay, so that works. Let's get rid of that. And then we want the same on this side. So come out to there, hook up to there. Hook all these up. Okay. So that means I can have this coming down. Well, let's bring it what down to, well, you know what? Why not use all the space you can? So let's have it all the way down to there. Oh, that's not quite all the way across. Snip that back. Are you going to show me? It's not showing me. Uh, hang on a second. There. Uh, you know what? If I extend this a little bit, it's got a, there's a certain pro. There we go. Let's get it nice and square. All right, sweet. So I've, now I've got my office. So now I need to hire people. That's now open. And how do I hire people? I don't even know. I don't even know. But I have got to buy, like, uh, fuel storage. So um, what do I want? Now, let's see. <clears throat> We've got five and five. But we're going to be having passages and cargo as well as mail and stuff. So I think, and not all of them need fueling. So I think we'll upgrade this to, say, three vehicles. No, what the hell? Go for the full four. Go for the full four. Why, like, why? Why wouldn't you? Go. So you've got four vehicles. You're going to have the same. So upgrade the parking slots to four. Oh, come on. Four vehicles. And then the same over here at the post, po at the post warehouse. So we'll up. Um, I think I'm, I'm just going to go up to four, I think. Am I going to go? Yeah, I think I'm just going to go up to four. One, two, three, four. I can go up to five. I think we'll just go up to four. And then we want the uh, same thing here. So upgrade to four slots, four vehicles. Why am I not upgrading to five? Why am I not upgrading to five? 
Now, we'll, live with, we'll try and live with four. Now, why can't, why can't, there should be some hiring thing to, to here to, to hire staff, because that's the way you hire staff. Hang on a second. Research, oh, here, hang on, here we go. So, uh, research works under the following system. You can hire clerks in the top left corner of the screen. Oh, here we go. Uh, each clerk will give you research points per day. Use those points to research anything that you want available in the list. And there's quite a lot to research. So like airplane services, advanced barrel logistics. This is uh, for uh, refueling aircraft. A cargo terminal, we definitely want that. Ramp service. In pursuit of power, the engines and aircraft design are becoming more complex. This requires more inspections and maintenance. Awesome. Wrap service, liking it. Uh, let's see, there's all kinds of soap. So, I mean, we'd want cargo, like pretty much ASAP. Passenger services, obviously we want to be able to have uh, passenger services. And then we've got aero snacks, advanced terminal. Trust me, port in by to cover all requirements in the foreseeable future, a whole new terminal project will do. It has two whole gates, ooh, awesome. Airport terminal. Bus operation, stairway mounting. Oh, look at this. Luggage drop zone. Personnel. Oh, driver training. If you carry passages more carefully than bags or, uh, or let letters, then as a rule, they are faster unloaded from the bus and more willing to get into it. Okay, cool. Uh, boarding instruct. So this is um, getting people loaded up faster, generally, by the look of it. Uh, construction. Oh, time academ paving. A mixture of tarnished stones gives an excellent surface, smooth and durable. Ooh, so that, that allows us to receive modern, air, modern aircraft. So we replace our taxiways with tarmac. Awesome. Office works. Office furniture. Oh, let's flight scheduling. Oh, okay, so cargo and passengers is what we want first. So let's see. I can research. These guys cost 200 to buy, and their salary is one a day. Uh, and I've got like a million, so let's just, now we can have 10, so I guess, 7, 8, 9, 10, research points, I've already got 150, <laughs> so let's, uh, what should we bring in first, cargo, let's bring in cargo first, so let's do cargo terminal, uh, hmm, okay, let's, um, let's, Let's let's do that. Take four hours to research that. Okay, cool. So we've got research going. That's beautiful. I've got to link up all of these guys, haven't I? Yep. So let's get. Uh, so you link to. Oh, no. Oh, no path to building because I haven't linked them up, have I? Let's try that again. We need to put the, all the roads in. Linking these up. And you can go straight. Oh, just do it like that, or like that. Let's do it. Let's do it like that. Try and make the place a little bit more interesting. And there, there, there. And there. Now I've probably got room, and I could probably figure out a setup to have um, a, another set of ramps. Here if I wanted to, but I think 10 is going to be enough to get us going. Cool. Okay, so now let's let's do the linking up quickly. So with fuel station, you're going to be on that side, and you there, you there. Oh, this we're going to be able to take like every plane, like right from the beginning. That is like the best accident ever. Come on. Now, uh, this is not the first time that um, I have restarted. Because I thought I'd have another playthrough and uh, and see, um, uh, learn a bit more about the game. But I've, I've been running into various problems. There, I mean, there, this is. I mean, it's more than a, it's more than a demo at this point. But it's so early. And and they, they you know they, they say like right up front this is just a preview. Um, there's there's lots of bugs and whatever because they're in the middle of development. So there are uh, there are issues and I'm really hoping this is going to work because 
I don't know how I did this. I don't know how I got that million. So, yeah. I have to play around and see if I can uh, duplicate that. But, all right, we have got our airport set up now. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I could get more um, get more ramps and stuff in. I have to figure that out. Okay, so we can we can get on with this. All oh, right, so um, fast forward to the first flight. Did I do did I do all the vehicles? Yeah, I did all the vehicles. The office is running. We've got the research going. All right, go go fast forward to the first flight. Here we go. Incoming flight. Yes, coming to ramp. What now? Let's see. Our ramps are numbered. So we've got one, two, three, four, five going out there, and then. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten going out that way. Okay, so first flight come into ramp one, please. Also, source now look now. This is a pathing error. There's um, there's no path from the post warehouse to somewhere. Huh. Now let's just carry on because I I think. I have seen this before, these pathing errors, but it didn't seem to cause a problem because the um, the mail truck is here waiting, ready for the for the plane. So that looks good. Okay, so we've unloaded the mail. Oh, here we go. Next one coming in. Oops, let's try that again. Uh, you can come into uh, ramp two. Awesome. Oh, we've got our first twenty-eight dollars. Here comes the next plane. You want, you want me to zoom in so you can actually see what's going on? I, I love the way the vehicles like back up to the to the planes and stuff. Off you go. We've got another plane to come in. You, oh, the first one's already gone, so you can come into ramp one. Mail truck's already out there waiting. See, we're getting pathing errors with every plane that arrives. I think it's got something to do with the second runway, but do I care? No, as long as it works, which it does seem to, then it's all good. Let's uh, let's see in the research how we doing. Are we are we getting there? Oh yeah, we're already already like almost half done. Whoa, we're going to be able to have cargo services. Right, let's get some planes in. So you come into two, you come into three. One's already ready. Here we go, another plane coming in. <laughs> oh, this is so sweet. God, I hope this does. I hope this version doesn't break. Uh, I had one. I had one. One playthrough where one of my ramps was permanently occupied, even though there was no plane there. I don't know what the hell happened there. But I'm, you know, I'm so glad that I restarted. Because that was the that was the, the the last little playthrough that I did, and uh, you can come into ramp one. But like every plane gets a pathing error, which is. But I just need to get rid of them. Yeah, we've done the fueling, we've done the landing fee. Oh come on! I, I want the research. I want the cargo. Here we go. You can come into ramp two. Oh man, it's awesome being able to take just like every plane. But look, everyone gives us a pathing error. Now, I wonder if we're going to be able to make a profit today, because <laughs> we've got we've got lots of vehicles to maintain. Uh, let's see, you can give me to ramp one. That's fine. Uh, do I speed this up? I want to keep an eye on the on the research. Though. Okay, we've got a little bit to go with the research. So let's speed things up. Let's let's crank this up. Come on, give me more flights. I've got loads of loads of ramps waiting. Money's coming in, which is nice. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. By the way, the reason that my save game corrupted is because I didn't actually wait for all... I, I, I saved it at night time, and you're supposed to save it at night time. But I didn't actually wait for all the planes to leave. And it does tell you in the instructions, uh, wait for all the planes to, to leave so there's nothing going on at the airport, and then save. That's the safest time to save the game. Uh, right, so you can come into one and two and three. Awesome. You can come into four. I've got four filled up now. 
You know, I am thinking we're probably going to need more. Uh... Oh, hello. What's this? Research completed. Cargo terminal. Okay. Awesome source. Uh, you know what? I should have done. I, oh, damn it. I should have done passengers first because we get passengers before we get cargo. Uh, so we can now add. Oh, hello. Cargo storage. Okay. So if I have. Mm, you know what? We, I need to put this a little bit closer because we're going to have cargo and we're going to have passengers. Uh, and I don't know what other buildings we're going to have. Um, oh, yeah, I do, because we're going to have uh, servicing. Uh, hang on a second. Can I? Oh, now. If I space them out like this, I could have buildings opposite, but that might cause a problem. You, you can't put them opposite like that. But I might be able to put them like that. Okay. So we'll have cargo on that side. Uh, cargo storage. We'll have cargo. Now, what I should have done really was make make one side for cargo and one side for passengers. You know what? Let's have this as the cargo side. Let's have this as the passenger side. So let's put in. You know what? One cargo might be enough. Let's see. Uh, so we start with two vehicles. We can upgrade three, four. What's the maximum slots you can have? Five. So let's have one. Two, three, four. Let's have five vehicles. Why not? Why not do it? Okay, cool. So now we need to research passenger services. So base hospitality. More and more crazy rich people choose air travel. Unfortunately, they don't really like to wait for a flight at a postal warehouse or cargo terminal. A small and comfortable passenger terminal is what you need. All right. And we get the terminal bus. We get the luggage transfer. Oh, let's do it. Research. Eight hours. Right. So, go. Um, such a shame. But you know what? It is what it is. Uh, so, you come into. So, we could bring mail into anywhere. But then we want the we want the cargo in one to five, ideally. Now, I could just duplicate it and have it, like, so it'll come into anywhere. But I suppose we want to try and keep our airport, like, sort of sensible. Alrighty. Okay, we've got two cargo planes. Awesome source. Now, now have I got anything free? Okay. Uh, now, they're all saying... Cargo is not available for the ramp. You have to build a facility building and connect it to the ramp. Well, it is. Oh, no. I haven't actually hooked them up, have I? No, right. So, let's hook them up. Cargo. Is hooked up to there. Car guys hooked up to there. And there. Oh, yeah. Boom. All right, sweet. So now we should be able to bring in these cargo flights, assuming, yes, ramp one, two, three, and four are all free. So you can come into one. You can come into two. And then I can't bring in the passenger flight, which sucks. But let's start using so. So you come into ten. You come into eight, you come into six, and you can come into ramp four. All right. Oh, our airport is rocking and rolling. And none of our planes have to wait. So our planes are coming in nice and quickly. And then when they leave, they just go out this way and take off from here. So that's working. I uh, have got rather a lot of pathing errors. <laughs> but we could just get rid of all of those. Boom. I've uh, got more flights to bring in. So you can come into ramp three. Come on, come on, something leave on ramp one to five so I can bring this cargo flight in. Man, even with ten even with ten ramps, I can't uh hey, there we go. Pause for a second. So uh I oh, missed that missed that flight, didn't I? Oh no, I've got I've got six to ten open, so you can come into. Uh, let's bring you into. Oh no, I want to bring these good ones in close. So I tell you what, let's bring let's bring you into six. We'll bring you into seven, you into eight, and then we'll bring you. Oh, max plane limit has been reached. Oh, you, so you can only have 10 airplanes in the airport in total. 
Okay. Now, why why would you have that limit? That's that's strange. Okay, I can bring another one in. Uh, that's passengers, so we'll just get rid of that. Let's bring. Let's see. I can bring you into ramp ten. I can bring you into ramp nine. And then once a couple of planes go out, hopefully I can bring these two in on this side. We've got a couple of ramps free. So yeah, you can come in on ramp five. You can come in on after. Why, why is there a plane? Now I'm assuming that you have to research and upgrade. Okay, well, you can come in on ramp one, cool. Get rid of all my pathing errors. Goodbye. So even with even with ten ramps, I'm struggling to keep up. We need some way to upgrade our th this limit. Upgrade the airport. Oh, I bet you need air traffic control. I'll bet you. I'll bet you. Um, pause for a second. And so let's see what, what can I bring in. I've only got room for one plane, so I better bring in. You know, I'm going to bring in this big plane. Yeah. Uh, you can come into ramp to go. Come on, planes. Move. Move yourselves. I want to bring in more planes. Oh, man. This is fun. Uh, you can come into ramp three. Uh, this game is going to be so darn good. But, boy, do we need air, air traffic control. Uh, let's pause for a second and see how, where we do. Okay, so we're only like halfway through the passenger service. Uh, passenger service. So let, let, let's crank this up a bit, I think. Come on, planes. Get out of it. Look. It's a good job we've got two runways. Okay, we've got a, we've got a, a bit of room. So you can come in on ramp four. Cool. Yeah, let's bring you. You want fuel as well, so let's bring you on ramp seven. Oh, we've got some. Actually, got some room. You can come in on ramp ten. Let's bring you in on ramp six. Can't do passengers at the moment. You can come in on ramp five. You can come in on ramp one, and then. Let's bring these guys in that need fuel as well. So, actually, it's a good idea to do a bit of a mix, isn't it? Because I've only got eight vehicles for fuel. So, um, pause, because I'm about to lose this. Uh, you come in on ramp seven. You come in on ramp eight. And then let's have you on uh, ramp nine go. Need another plane to go out. Okay, you can come in on 10. I'm trying to get, get you a view so you can see all the vehicles coming in and out. Um, actually, I suppose I, could, I suppose I could zoom in a bit. Let's get rid of all these pathing errors. Okay, I've got, I've got room for, to bring a couple of planes in. Uh, let's see. The, these, bringing in these big planes is still the best. So let's bring you in on... Four, even though you're not a cargo plane, you come in on three, you come in on, ah, you'll come in on two. So turning around the planes is the is the thing at the moment. So yeah, you're going to come in on two, uh, you can come in on seven. Awesome. Oh, we've got another, you can come in on eight. I'm trying to keep one to five relatively free so that I can bring in cargo planes. Uh, you can come in on 10. I'll bring you in on 9. Okay, we've got two cargo planes. You can come in on 1. When we've got room, so that, that we can't service because it's passengers. You can come in on 5. God, it feel like an air traffic controller doing this. So, uh, let's see. You can come in on 7. You can come in on six. 
Come on, planes. Oh, we're coming up to the evening. We've only got like an hour left. Ah, and it's night time. Oh, mom, I want more planes. All right, so how are we doing? We well, we must have made uh, like a fair amount of cash. The question is, did like did we keep up with the maintenance of all the vehicles that I've got for all the buildings? I would think that I would have, but we won't know until we get the report. Now we get the report uh, later on. Let's uh, let's get rid of these because I want to see when the research happens. So let's go. Let's go supersonic. Now, n night time proper, when you can do a save, doesn't start until all the planes. But see, we've got planes sitting here. Are they? Yeah, they are going to leave eventually. So you take off. But we want all of the planes gone before I, uh, before I attempt to save the game to give us the best chance of uh, a successful save. Do we go down and actually see one of these planes? Oh, ah, sorry, missed it. I am running it on supersonic though, so that's not too much of a surprise. I'll try, I'll try and uh, zoom in like when the, when the next lot of flights come in. Okay, so now everything has left. Oh, what are we saying here? Oh, and we have done base hospitality. So we've got terminal buses, luggage transfer. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, so... Uh, well, ne what's the next thing that we want going? Uh, let's have a look at airplane services. We've got the cargo terminal. Oh, now ramp service. This is for servicing planes. So this is um, like mechanical servicing. I think, I'm pretty sure. In pursuit of power, the engines and aircraft design are becoming more complex. This requires more inspections and maintenance. Yeah, it's got to be this. We want to do this because this will allow us to bring more stuff in. Oh, and then we get air traffic control. If a lot of airport airplanes accumulate around the airport and in itself, this can lead to chaos. To avoid it, you need an air traffic controller and a tall tower. All right, so let's get, uh, let's get ramp service going. And then I'm guessing we'll do air traffic control. So uh, research that. We can get that done in eight hours. Now, we can get that done in eight hours, and it's eight hours, so we could have air traffic control researching before we start the next day. Awesome. Daily report. So, we, um, we made almost 6,000 from airplane handling. Well, we spent 6,000 on vehicles, but it's the, it's the maintenance. We won't, you know what, we won't really see until tomorrow whether we're making a, a profit or not. Uh, fuel supply was 200 staff was 2000 so yeah I I don't know whether we made a profit today I guess we'll I guess we'll find out all right well, uh, what's all oh, cap capital construction small airport st 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 station <laughs> oh here is our passenger terminal now then uh, where are we going to put you? Now, I can't put you opposite those. But, see, what I could do is I could have... Um, I could have a little road. Like, coming out here. Like, this kind of sort of thing. Maybe maybe better off doing it that way. So, if I put, if I put a little road in like that, then... Ooh, I've got 1,600. Then we could put that in there. That might work. Now, it does say don't put the buildings too close together. So I'm, a I'm actually going to extend that out a little bit. So that uh, so we've got a bit more bit more room. We'll try and space the buildings out a little bit. So if we put you in kind of there-ish. There-ish. All right, sweet. So now, hopefully, we can have a bunch of all kinds of vehicles. So we've got the baggage gate. And we've got the passenger gate. So baggage gate, we can... So how many vehicles do I want? Well, let's... I don't know. Three, four. Depends how many passenger planes I'm going to be servicing at once. You know what? I guess we'll... Well, the max is four. So let's have four. Why not? One, two, three, four. And then we want also the passenger gate. We need one, two, three, four. And 
One, two, three, four vehicles. Alrighty, we are set up for passengers. Now, I'm going to hit F5 to save the game. Uh, and I've got the game paused. Right, I'm going to hit F5. Right, so I've just hit F5. Now, that will have created a save. God, I hope it works. But I think what I'm probably going to do is, is, um, is do a few episodes without exiting the game because I'm so scared that I'm going to break it. And I'm also terrified that I won't be able to find the million dollar cheat again. So, you know what? We will we'll leave it there, I think, for this episode. Um, this is kind of perfect. Uh, next episode, we can just whiz this forward to the first flight of the next day. We can start taking passes. Oh, I've got to do the linking, haven't I? Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll link it. I'll link everything up in the beginning of the next episode. We could do passengers. We could do cargo. Uh, we can do more research. What more? Re what am I doing? Oh, yeah. We want to get air traffic control. Will that allow us to bring more planes in? Well, if you want to find out, you'll have to come back for the next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you're still enjoying this because I'm loving it. I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.